Hey everybody, this video is specifically centered around data loss prevention or DLP inside of protection plan settings. So when you're ready to start messing with DLP, you will be able to see that when you go into a device and you go into a protection plan, you'll be able to see the DLP service inside of that plan. If you already have plans made, you can go in and edit them to turn this service on but I'm gonna start a brand new plan so that you can see this from the very beginning. So just make sure you have that service turned on at the top level for the customer. And then when you do, and you come down here to the plan, you'll see towards the bottom here is data loss prevention. So once you go ahead and turn this on, it's gonna give you a couple options. Now, what exactly is DLP and how do we utilize it? Uh, DLP is specifically centered around the ability for you to prevent uh, specific data uh, centered around sensitivity areas around PII, our personal identifiable information, and we allow or disallow that data to go out through verified channels. But one of the big issues with one of those type of platforms is you need the ability to create those uh, data flow policies. Otherwise, it's just a manual task and it can be cumbersome to do. So that's what this does for you is we can automatically create those policies for you. One way to do that is to put it into what is called observation mode. If you put it into observation mode, what it will do over a set period of time, like let's say you left it here for three weeks, three months, six months, just as an example, uh, and you set this across all of your machines. What this will do here is it will categorize and create data flow policies automatically for you based on all the ways that I am sending data. So let's just say, for example, this was set up for my endpoint machine, and I'm sending data every single day through, uh, through a Teams channel as well as Outlook or something like that. Uh, it will create those data flow policies automatically, and you're able to fine tune those. And then once you put them into enforcement mode, it enforces those very policies. So let's go ahead and say, all of a sudden, I am trying to send credit card information or purchase order information to like my best friend through Facebook. You can prevent that data from going out after you put it into enforcement mode. Now, there's a little bit that goes beyond just doing this inside of the plan, but a couple of things to take note of with this is in the advanced settings, there's a couple things that you can uh, take a look at that are very beneficial as well. One of those is OCR technology. So we are able to look at and make sure that there's no hidden uh, uh, PII information being sent inside of documents, PDFs, screenshots, etc. cetera. So uh, bad actors uh, can go ahead and hide data uh, inside of pictures, stuff like that. Uh, we can actually scan to make sure that that's not there. Uh, scr scrolling down just a bit more, you can also see what about password protected data. Uh, we're not able to actually see what the content is of that data if it is password protected. Uh, so we ask you to decide here if you want to go ahead and allow that to go through. And then how to handle errors and then how to also do uh, allow lists for certain types of uh, device lists and stuff like that. Um, with that, just take a note that once you turn that on and you save it, you're not going to see anywhere inside of here those data flow policies. In order to see those once they start to get created, you would come over here to the left hand side and you would go underneath the shield here with the check mark for protection. Once you go under there, you'll see at the bottom here we have DLP, data loss prevention. This is where you're able to see your data classifier that you have set for your PII information. And then this is also where you're able to see the data flow policies. So this is where they get auto-generated once they get created. And this is after you leave it in observation mode. Now, keep in mind, you don't need to wait uh, to have these created. You can come in here and manually create them at any point uh, at your behest. You can go ahead and select the users, the recipients, et cetera. Um, thank you very much.